How do you expect uh, the new season with Panathinaikos? Oh, I mean, uh, should be good. Should be good. We have a good team, a uh, good mix of young players and older players. Uh, I mean, I expect to win a lot of games. The goal is to take it one day, one game at a time, and trying to win it all. Uh, you were uh, here for two years, uh, and uh, you returned uh, four years uh, after uh, you, you left. Uh, what uh, what do you think that uh, has changed uh, this period of time? Uh, what changed this time and uh, you return to Panathinaikos? I mean, um, honestly, from uh, someone a bit inside and outside, I think Panathinaikos, I mean, made a lot of step forward since I left, you know, even in our uh, organization and uh, people don't know what's going on in the locker room. And, and um, I mean, there's not that many teams that have access to all the technology that Panathinaikos had uh, in, uh, back there, you know. Uh, also, I mean, you have people like Nick that came back after Leah uh, playing here way before. He's a great player, really. I mean, he's an amazing point guard. And um, I want to say um, everybody got a little older, you know, a little older, a little wiser. We know what we want in life, and uh, we expect so. We, we expect a lot of things. And uh, now you you are uh, again teammate of uh, James Gist. Uh, was a, uh, a thing that made you sign uh, more quickly? Yeah, obviously, obviously. I mean, everybody knows the story. Uh, James is a is a big part of a uh, big part of uh, my experience here last year in Panathinaikos, and we're really close friends. Even um, the fact that I left didn't change anything about our friendship. Uh, when I got the contract, I called him right away. I mean, every time I got an offer for Panathinaikos since I left, I called him and I talked. We talked about it. So I mean, James uh, is my guy. He's my brother. So we run, we check on each other every day. We talk all the time, and he was not going to change. Uh, because you mentioned uh, that uh, there were other times too that uh, you talked with Panathinaikos. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many were they? Uh, were they? And uh, is, was it the time that uh, you're really close, but uh, in the end uh, didn't uh, you didn't sign? Um, I mean, there was a couple of times where uh, I was really interested in coming back, but just different things and uh, different things happened in life. You know, um, there was other, I mean, not only financial or basketball reason, but there's different reason uh, why I should sign for or why any player should sign for one team or another. And it just wasn't the right time. I think now is the perfect time to come back and uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, with uh, two uh, with two doubles here in, uh, in the green shirt, but uh, no qualification for the final four. Do you think that uh, this is an unfinished business? Uh, I mean, it's not the same team. Uh, I wouldn't quite call it an unfinished business, but I mean, I think Panathinaikos has been absent for the final four for quite a while, and the fans and organization, the ownership, and every, and everybody on this side of Athens deserve to be in a, in a bright light again. I think uh, it's. It should happen soon. Uh, do you think that uh, Panathinaikos is ready? Has all the, gredi- in, uh, the ingredients to make it to the final four this year? I think we got. Uh, from my experience, I think we got all the ingredients to compete with anybody in this Euro League. I don't think uh, there is any team out there that I can look at and think that uh, that I'd be nervous to play. Uh, we got everything you can think of in you. I mean, anything a Euro League team needs. We are shooting three men, shooting two. We got under. We have the, you know, everybody loves the undersized uh, big men now. We have people that can play defense and people that can play crazy offense. We have scorers. We have basically everything we need. And we have big guys that can, big big guys, small guys, big guys. I mean, we have everything you need to, for perfect salad. So I think we should be good. Uh, you are in a position that uh, has uh, many. Uh, Panathinaikos men uh, have many solutions. Mm-hmm. Has James Gist, Jan Vujukas, George Papagiannis. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you think that uh, this uh, will uh, work for uh, the team? I mean, it's going to work pretty well. I mean, you got guys like Jan, me, James, a little older, and a young guy like Papagiannis to just complete us, uh, and Deshaun Thomas. We have a good. Um, I mean, we have, and uh, of course, uh, Dino. So we have a mix of older guys and younger guys, the hungry guys, and a very smart group of basketball. I mean, this is one thing I noticed. Everybody here can learn on the fly, really smart, and adjust pretty fast. And uh, I think it's a, this is a great advantage for us. You know, you don't just have people that can just run or think. You got people actually that can run and think at the same time. It's a big plus. Uh, one of the guys that they can run and think at the same time, I think the best uh, in this position is Nick Alathis. Mm-hmm. You have a teammate uh, this year, the best point guard last year, uh, year last year's Euroleague. Uh, do you feel lucky to have him 
in your side? I mean, we, I mean, we've been practicing. I mean, because of the national team, we didn't get a chance to play too much together in uh, the amount of practices. But for what I see and from what everybody knows, he's, he's one of the best in Europe to do what he does. And uh, I mean, I'm very, very fortunate and lucky to be on the court with him. And I can't wait till the, uh, the show starts. Uh, if we put aside James, mm-hmm. James Gies, who is until now you think the, your favorite uh, teammate and uh, personality maybe if he, from, from the team? Uh, it's going to be uh, surprising. My, my favorite guy is uh, Vagelis. Uh, he's a uh, The, it's just, it's a, a new guy on the team, just like, I mean, not like me, but it's a new guy on the team, and uh, I think he worked hard enough for his career to get where he needs to be. We get along pretty well off the floor, and uh, he's my guy. Uh, you have much, uh, m- m- much experience, uh, but uh, in 2016, uh, you managed to, to have a great year with uh, Galatasaray, with the uh, Euro Cup uh, Championship. Uh, Was this the, your best uh, season, or was uh, another season uh, of your career best? I mean, obviously, when uh, you set a goal for yourself, because before I signed to go to Galatasaray, I had a conversation with Ataman on the phone, and we knew that the goal was to win the Euro League. I mean, the Euro Cup. You know, we wanted that really bad. It was our main focus of the season, and to to have a goal in your mind from the summer and then to accomplish it is uh, is big for an athlete, every athlete. And I mean. So far, I think yeah, it's probably one of my best memories in uh, basketball. Uh, but uh, after that, uh, you have uh, you, ha- you had a season to uh, you had to step back mm-hmm. because uh, the situation with uh, forbidden substances. Yeah. Uh, how do you, did you copy with that and to return uh, last year to Unix Kazan even better? Oh, uh, you know, I, I just try to, to focus on the positive side. You know, I was I got a, I got a little older. And uh, this gave me a chance to rest a little bit. And while I was resting, I just kept working on the things that I wanted to improve in my game for the whole year. I mean, I can tell now, every day that I was off the floor, I woke up at five o'clock in the morning and I worked out because that's the type of person I am. I just wanted to stay ready. And, uh, and I knew the competition was getting younger and I was getting older. So I had to do everything in my power to come back stronger than I was before. And uh, it's still my goal today.